Today I want to show you how to create layout using Visual Composer. First of all, you have to log into your WordPress dashboard. And uh, we shall be using this website, Hosting24, for most of our reference. And uh, at look at this website, you see it has a column, it has a heading, text, and a button. So to create such a, such a layout, let us go to our WordPress dashboard, go to New, Page, or uh, Pages, Add New. Let us give our page a title. We can call it Sample Visual Composer. And by default, uh, the, all WordPress names come with this editor that has a visual and the code side. So you can type anything here like I love Jesus. So that is visual. When you go to the the text, that's how it looks. So when you try to style it, you can put to be it to be heading one. So that's heading one. But when you go to the visual composer, you see it, it has added some H1 elements. But uh, for this tutorial, we will not be using this one. We're using Visual Composer, and once you install Visual Composer, you find another tab with backend and front end buttons. So we will click on the backend, and our page is blank. So you have a blank page. Start adding content or templates. So we'll start by adding elements. You can click here the Add button, or you can click at Add Elements to add a new element. And in our case, we are going to add a new row. And if you look at this side, these are full row. It is divided into two, so it has two columns. So we'll choose the template for two columns. So when you hover over here, you will see other custom templates of the row. So you have one over one, we have one over two plus one over two, two over three by one over three. So we we should choose the one over two plus one over two. So that that's how we have divided our row into two columns, and. Uh, the right hand side column shall be blank and the left hand side column will, will be adding some content but before you add the content you are going to first of all add the background image so to add the background image in as as it is in this website first of all we will have to add the background image in the entire row so this is the entire row so i will click this pen tool here to edit this row Remember, this is a full row, and inside that row, we have another row that is divided into two columns. So we first of all edit the entire row. Once you open, go to Design Options, scroll down to Background, and then click the plus sign to add on the background image. Browse your image, drag and drop to upload it. Click Set Image. Change to Cover. You can also place a background. Yeah, some, of, uh, some people will ask why am I placing a background color and yet we have background image and this is because when the page loads sometimes it might take longer to load an image but to load a normal background color it will take a shorter time so before the image is loaded this blue color that I have, I have placed here as a background color will first of all be visible before the image loads so let us save there yeah, save then publish. All right, our page has been published. Let's go to, to let's view the page. So go to view page. I will open it in a new tab. And there we are. We'll find our page is blank. Ah. Uh, so I will do some settings. I'm, I'm using a theme by the name Graphic. 
yours might be different depending with the kind of theme you're using so for mine i'm going to do some settings by removing this sidebar here and removing the title so i will come back to my my page and change the template to front to home page and update let us now refresh our page There we have. Then we have a, a page full with, without the sidebar and without the title. But now one thing is the page is blank. But at, when you see our backend, we have added some background color and some background image. But the image is not visible. Sometimes you may want to add an image like this one without any text. How can you do it? visual composer the reason why this page is blank and yet we have added some image it is because does the row does not contain anything so for you to make the image to be visible you can either add some padding or some margin so click on the row and then go to design options then you can just add some padding like I can add padding top to be to 50 pixels and padding bottom to be to 50 pixels and save so i will find a color a row with 250 plus 250 which is 500 pixels in height so the image will be visible but in our case they are going because we want to add some text on top of the image there's no need of adding padding we'll add padding later on so let us come back to our row and then remove the padding. I have removed my padding. Save. And uh, another way to add padding, we can just add some blank space inside the row. So when you can just add blanks, we can search empty space or blank. So we search empty space. We ask you height. I can say I want it to be 500 pixels and save. So when I update my my row for my page and refresh, you will find that that space we added just reflected. So that's another way you can add some spacing. So let us come here and remove the space. And now we start doing the design. So our designs today should look like this one. Uh, it won't exactly look the look the same because of the, because of a few a few things like the font, font type, font family, font weight, and the colors and the line height such. So at look at this, we find the, the first part this is a heading. So this one we can use two ways. One, you can either use a custom heading in Visual Composer, or you can just use the text block and then you highlight the text and make it larger like heading one. But in this case, let us just use a custom heading. So I will come to my page. And then go to my first column I will add custom heading so I will start custom heading and in my custom heading I will copy this text copy and paste it here so I will leave it to text source I want it to be text custom text so I will paste my text here you can add a link if you want to the if you want if someone clicks the title or the heading it should redirect to another page or to another website element tag i want it to be heading one i want it to be a little bit a little bit bigger or larger because heading two smaller heading three very small and it decreases to heading six and paragraph just a very small font 
so I want it to be a little bit bigger and the alignment for this one alignment is aligned to the left so I will leave the alignment left font size in my case I can use 70 pixels line height I will just leave it in default I will use it I will leave it in default text color I want it to be her white in color and this one is white it's white in color so I leave it white uh, yeah we can change and of the font 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 family you want to use in my case I want to use the different font family because I'm not connected to the internet I am using Zam as my my local host server and uh, I can't connect to the internet I'm not connected to the internet right now so I won't be able to use a different font but if you are connected to the internet another option will be here where you can change the font in my case it says unable to load Google fonts so if you are connected to the internet another option will be here to change the font and font weight so in my case I will just leave it to be to use the default font that's why I say the changes will not match exactly as this one because the font family that was used to create this title it will be different than the font family I'm using here so we'll be, we'll be having slight changes in terms of boldness and styling but uh, I'm just illustrating so we just use it the way it is so that is all on element so let me save update my page and refresh when the page is up updated so that's how we have created our first title so let's continue and create this text so we will use a text block so below the heading just click the, click the plus sign prepare to this column search text block which is here click on text block we will highlight this text copy and paste So I will highlight all of it and paste the other text that I have copied from hosting 24. So I will try to format the text by holding shift enter. Shift enter you just add a, a space. It's not like pressing enter. Pressing enter will, will uh, add more of space. So if I press enter, you find the spacing is uh, a little bit more but when i press shift enter the text the line height is a little a little bit smaller so that's how i format my text and i want to change my text color to white and uh, before i continue sometimes we find uh, we don't find this column for color and a line and just file this is because the toggle toolbar toggle is not selected so sometimes when you find your your text block looking like this just click on toolbar toggle to show the other options of text color so we'll change the text color to, to white save so, save the changes and update the page so when i refresh my page here we go we have added our text next we have to add a button below the text so let's come back here and add another element and search button I will use this button eye catching button get starting now so here is the button button text will be get started now you can add a link if you want when someone clicks on the button it will redirect him to another page so I can we can add a link here you can add anything or you can even add a page 
so in my case i won't add any any link and if you want the link when clicked to open a new tab or a new window so you can choose so in my case i will leave it uh, blank without any link style i will choose flat shape i will use round and the different type the, the different is rounded yeah we find the corner it's not more round it just has, uses a smaller radius to cover the corners square is just a normal one and then round it's more round for example this one is round because when you when you look at it when you look at it the the corner radius is a little bit larger but when you use rounded the corner radius is a little bit smaller color i'll choose color closer to this one so i will choose uh, let me choose sky so i will choose sky size i will leave it to normal alignment uh, alignment i will choose left and then that is all and then i will talk a little bit about animation but let me save the changes first then i will come back to animation so let us refresh our page so there we have our button we are proceeding on well now we have finished creating all these so let us start styling these before we proceed to the next content when you look at this you find your create our heading you create our text text information and we have our button here uh, don't worry about how this button looks uh, the theme I'm using has some bugs and uh, it's unable to align the button at the center the, the, the text button button text sorry at the center of this so i'll just leave it the way it is but now let's start styling this so when you look at this you find there's some a little of a little space at the top and then some another space at the left and another space at the bottom so what is this so you'll find we we'll add some margin here we add some padding and some padding at the bottom so let's come back to our page and re-edit the column so we'll click the first column to edit it i'll go to design options i will add some margin like 100 pixels at the top so i just want to leave some spacing at the top and another padding 100 pixels padding left and 100 pixels padding bottom so this one will leave some space here we'll add some space at the bottom because our text starts at the edge so i want to add some spacing at the top some spacing at the left and some spacing at the bottom so after adding the padding of 100 pixels left and the padding 100 pixels at the bottom we will save the changes and refresh our page there we go we have achieved the settings so let us proceed next we will add this unlimited bandwidth and disk space dedicated customer success team so to add this content here this is another column and inside that column we will add another row that will divide it into other four columns one two three four so here i will click on this plus sign to add a column so this is my column and inside this column i will add a row and this row i will divide it into four so i will choose a quarter times four so after that in each column 
it contains a text block so we'll add a text block here and the color of the text block I will add an unlimited bandwidth so I will copy this text copy and paste it here paste save the changes I will also duplicate this text and move it to the following column yes and edit the text so I will copy this one We also copy the same text and move it to this column and edit it. Copy this text and paste it in that column. Copy, paste. Duplicate again the text block, move it to the set the following column, edit, copy this one. Copy, paste. Yeah, there we go. Then I will update my page. And refresh. We made it. But now, there's one mistake we did. We didn't change the color of the text. So the text is in black and also when you look at this one the text in white it has a check mark for now I want I won't show you how to add the check mark but if you have questions concerning how to add the check mark please comment on this video and I will show you how to add the check mark but in this in our case I will leave it so what you shall do, let us change the text color, I'm sorry for forgetting that, but uh, we shall just do it very fast, very fast, very very fast. And finally this one yes we are done so let's update the page and refresh ah, that is it so when you look at this page it looks similar to this one it looks almost similar to that so that's how we can create a page using visual composer so we will move on to the next tool so this page i already created it might not look, look the same because uh, for hours the navigation navigation is not transparent but when you look at this the navigation is transparent that's how you can see the menu options or navigation options links on top of the image but ours the the background color for the navigation is in black so we ours can don't be will not be exactly as this one so let's move on now let us create this one here it is very very easy to do it's just a text block so let's come here add a new row so you like click on this plus sign to add a new row and inside the row uh, the row is full width so i will add a text block so i have added a text block inside the row 
will come and copy this one copy and paste paste it here copy paste so that is it this one is heading, heading two you can even make it a little bit bigger maybe by changing it to h1 so you can highlight it and then change it to maybe h1 to be more big this one can just leave it to paragraph and save your content update That's a special page. So that's sort of that's what we have created. But now we have a little things to do. We have to align our text to the center. Our text is aligned to the left, so we'll have to align our text to the center. So we'll come back here. This text aligned to the center. So let's re-edit this and highlight everything and then alignment, align center this one you can make it even more bold then save update So that's how it looks. We have created our website. Uh, the difference in fonts I told you it depends on the theme and your theme settings. So for mine, uh, that's how it looks. This one looks a bit bold, uh, but this one is just normal, normal font. So that's how you see the difference. This one is a bit bold and that. You can also style your, you can style the, this, one, this one I've done. So you want to look exactly as this one. So we'll come and re-edit. We'll come and edit this text. So I want to place a new line to start from most and provide. So let me move these text blocks here and so a new line should start from here. I press Shift Enter on my PC and provide provide. So I look for provide. Hold Shift Enter on your PC and save the changes. And then I will update. Refresh. Yeah, that's how it is. And we can add more spacing on top here. So when you look at this one, find the spacing a little bit more. So we can even add some spacing here. This text is too close to the image. So you can add some spacing. And to add spacing, you can just click the plus sign, search empty. Click on this empty space. You can put it some some of the spacing you want. For me, I will leave it different with that two pixels. Then I will drag and place it at the top of the text block, text block, and save. Yes. So we have more of the little space at the top of this text. Next, we are going to. I will skip this one. Yeah, for those who are wondering what is this, uh, I'm assuming most of the people watching this tutorial are just uh, beginners and they have never used. They are not most conversant with the with WordPress, and so if you are new to this, uh, these are just pricing tables. Yeah, they used to add price on 
your products and it is a plugin we have so many plugins for pricing so you can just go google pricing tables plugins we have those free ones and we also have premium look at them and you will just choose the one that you love so for me because uh, at the moment i don't have one installed on 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 my wordpress right now so i'm not going to go through this but uh, i'll just skip that row and go to this one so let's create another row similar to this i, I already have this image downloaded so if you just if you just want to use similar images you can just right click and save the image uh, mostly if you are using i'm using mozilla i'm not sure about chrome and uh, so let's create this this row and so we'll come back here go to plus and row we'll divide it into two halves so the first half it has an image then the second half does a heading and does a heading and some text in this case i won't do it the way i did here remember this this one i did it by adding some adding a custom heading and then a text block but in this case i've just used a text block at once so let us first start editing this one come back here and uh, so you go back to the our page click the plus sign and search single image i browse my image i will upload the image so i will go to my where my images are okay so it's here we'll upload it by just dragging and dropping it there once it's uploaded just set the image and i want this image to be full size so on image size i want it to be full so i will write full you can also use custom settings of size so you can if you want it to be 200 by 100 just type in that so i want it to be full alignment i want it to be center image style maybe it be default on click you can you can choose when someone click the image maybe to link or to to link to another image to link to a custom the custom link or to zoom i can just play zoom but uh, you can just try or you know, to play around with the settings and the animation yeah uh, i will come back to the animation once i'm through with the tutorial so save and here we are going to add a text block and we'll come back here and just copy that copy and paste it here paste so it will look like this i can just press shift enter to style it and i can make it even more bold I leave the color to remain the way it is you want to look it exactly as this so you can put new line to start at exception name and months so i'll start a new line to start at exception then yeah exception name and months so I'll study like that. So then we we'll have to add a button, get started. So below the text block, 
add a button, search button. Getting started. Get started. You can link it to to another page. You can link it to another page or just leave it blank. For me, I leave it blank. But uh, for you, when you're creating a real website, just link it to the page or another website you want. Styling, I love using flat. Shape, I use round. Color, I use. Uh, let me. I used sky, so let me use sky to maintain uniformity. Since I leave it the way it is, and I will save and update my page after the page has been updated. So I will refresh the page to see the changes. So that's how our page is looking like. That's how it is. So we have created a page like this. But when, when you look at this, you'll find our page doesn't have any spacing. So we'll try to add some spacing on each element. So let us add a space at the top of this. So I will add some padding of 50 pixels. Let me try 50 pixels. Similar to single image, let me add some spacing also, like 50 pixels. And also, this one has some background color, so we have to put to place this background color in our row. If you're not sure about the, the color they have used, just right click inspect element you find in inspect element most advanced browsers like chrome or mozilla have a color picker so i will pick my color picker and just click on the background to copy the color code the hexadecimal code i will come to my row and change the color So I will paste my color code and uh, use cover and save. So I will update my page. So let me refresh. So we find our, our row has some colors but still they are too close so to to add some spacing in between the rows you can either add padding or you can still add an empty space in my case let me add empty space just to that one will easen me uh, will easen the time so i will add a spacing of hundred let me try seven seven five pixels spacing so I will drag and drop it here I just copy the same spacing and place it in the other column and save Let's see how a page looks like. Yeah, that is it is. But now we still have some. It's not perfectly good, but we can leave it like that. We can increase the space furthermore, but in, let me leave it like that. So the following does add. Uh, this one this is just uh, another text block so i will come back here i can copy paste this one 
so and drag and add it below the column but it's a new column so you'll add a new column a new row full width and inside it i'll drag and drop my text block i will edit the text by placing this content there I will also add some spacing at the top so I will search empty space let me try 75 also that's how it looks but still the text is aligned to the right so we'll align the text to the center we go finally we create these icons and in most cases you find some themes come with icons and also visual composer come with an icon element so you can either use, use uh, an icon element or you can use a single image and a text in my case I'm going to use a single image so first of all I'm going to add column which is divided into four into three I mean In the first column, I will add an image so I am having some sample images So I will upload the three sample images that I am going to use in this tutorial And uh, I want the size of this image to be 64 pixels by 64 pixels. Alignment to be at the center. And the image style will be default. Then save. Below the image, I will add some text. So I will come to this site and copy the text and paste it here I will highlight my text 
and align at the center. So when you update your page, and refresh, that's how it looks. So we'll continue adding the other to the remaining two columns. Because of time, I won't be able to do all of them, but we'll only copy this one two times and place them here. So this one will act as a placeholder. Also to the images, I will copy them and place them there. So that's how you can create icons. Now let's refresh our page. So that's how our page looks. You can do that the final formatting later, like now changing the font colors and the font weight and uh, the padding and the left, padding and the right and all that and uh, the spacing here. So let's just do another final touch. Like for here I can, I can increase the padding of this one. I can go to design options. I can add padding of maybe 150 pixels. Similar to the image. Padding of 150 pixels. Into the other ones, you can add Padding left, padding left can be something maybe to 25 pixels, and this one padding right to 25 pixels. And one thing we'll notice that when our page loads, there's no animation. The text is just static. So in the next steps, we are going to add some animation to our text. So let us start adding animation. So when I start with the custom heading, I'll just click the heading and scroll down to CS animation and you click there you can either put bounce down save so the animation you place will depend to the to your test or the, the way you want it to be so for me I'll just do it randomly just to illustrate fading and this button I can change the animation to something else so let me change the animation to bound right. So you will do the same to all of these. There we are. We are added an animation, but uh, we have not added to the whole elements. But for illustration, I have just added to the header and a few elements 
So when you refresh your page, you will see the text will not be static. It has, some, it has been animated. So like that. That looks pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any comments, just don't hesitate to write it down. And uh, if you need any help, feel free to contact us and also share this tutorial, subscribe to our channel.